Hello and welcome to the webinar on challenges faced by business analysts in a data driven world. The main motivation behind this webinar was to understand and investigate how the business analyst job role has changed over past 5 to 10 years owing to data and data driven work. Traditionally, if you are talking about any business analyst, the work has been gathering requirements from business, translating them into system design, engage with technical team, and be the bridge between business and technical team. It means their job has been to understand the business, and once they have understood it, develop a document which could be used by a software or technical team to come up with the technical solution. In terms of skill set, when we talk about, we're talking about understanding business, understanding of software development lifecycle, namely Agile or SDLC waterfall, and estimate the project. And when it comes to tool, we are talking about mainly three tools. One being Microsoft Excel, second being Microsoft Excel, and third also being Microsoft Excel. It means you are able to do pretty much all of your job using Microsoft Excel. You never had to go out of that shell in order to solve any problem because your all requirement was able to fit. Like take an example, how many hours a developer will work, how many times it will take. So these kind of number data was enough to be handled by Microsoft Excel. But if I talk about recent BA jobs in the current Toronto market, what I see here, this one talks about loves data, heavy hitter on the analytics side. So they are demanding analytics skill. Second one, they're talking about knowing of SAS on top of SQL. So difference between SAS and SQL being, in SQL you can run basic queries or you can run advanced queries as well. But these queries are not in a nature of statistical data, statistical modeling. SAS is more on that. You have to, so it means they want to have some exploratory statistical analysis. You do something, you get the mean mode median, you get the, you want to see the distribution of the data. And also you want to see how many standard deviation away from this data. So basically they are expecting you to understand the data. This one, it talks about bonus being a statistical programming, SAS, R and Python. The difference between SAS, R and Python is like that. They pretty much everything you can achieve the objective, but SAS usually in a big large enterprises, because it has a licensed software and R, R and Python pretty much you can use anywhere. Again, data analytics job, they are looking for data analytics in Python and R. So if anybody is a new grad who is actually maybe just going to school, they may be very happy to take a maybe one or two credit on mathematics or statistics. But the problem with anybody veteran who has been doing this for 10, 15, 20 years, it is not possible for them to go back to school. In that situation, they may be looking to upgrade their skill in Python. So now, new tools what we talk about, of course, Excel, Python, or R. But when we talk about Python and R, people get carried away. They start looking for millions of courses, this and that. See, Python is a gigantic, is a very general purpose programming language. You possibly cannot learn everything. So again, you don't have to learn everything for this job. In this job, you only need to focus enough Python to do your job. So I would say if you're looking for a, some kind of solution, you look for Python for analytics. That's it. That will focus, you teach you basic Python and more heavy on the analytics side, how you can do basic day-to-day -day analytics, how once you graduate from Excel sheet, how you go to the next level. So the, the next thing you should be looking for is the Python for analytics, R for analytics, these kind of solution you're looking for. You don't want to be a superman or you don't have to be a rock star Python developer. Just enough Python to do your job. So this is for the, this webinar and we'll have demo subsequent session. And also in next webinar, we'll talk about different job roles in data field, namely data scientist, data engineer, and data analytics. And we'll demystify how People think everything is to do with data scientists. No, you will see in the whole data pipeline, 
The majority of the job is done by not by data scientists or data analytics. It is done by data engineers. Almost 80% of the job is that. So we'll see how it is and how you can how you can target a particular job market. Again, what we are talking about here is you don't have to know everything. You have to know only specific thing and know it well. Okay. Thank you for listening to this. Please stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next webinar.